Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for the top five inks of 2018. Um, these are just inks that I bought in 2018, not inks that came out in 2018. Um, and these are my five favorites that I've acquired this year. This was very difficult because we picked up a lot of inks um, this year, probably 30 or 40 bottles, to be honest, um, which is a little crazy. But um, I'm, I, I narrowed it down to five that I've used a lot this year um ink reviews will be coming back i know it's been a little been a little slow i apologize for that so they'll they'll be back to regularity probably probably about one a week um coming up soon so let's go ahead and jump right into it um at number five this is an ink that i wanted for a while and i finally got a chance to get it this is ackerman sbre brown so um if you watch stephen brown on youtube this is his signature ink from ackerman 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 i don't know from that company um, I really, really like this ink. It's like a nice, um, kind of a caramel brown color. But on top of that, it has a lot of really, really nice shading. Um, there's some nice uh, kind of uh, almost like a golden tone right there at the edges. You can see it gets really, really dark there in the middle where the ink pools up. It It's, it's a very nice, very, very nice color. Um, again, it's just kind of like a caramely brown but with a lot more shading. I really, really like this ink a lot, and I'm very, very glad that I was able to get my hands on it this year. Number four is an ink that I actually just got, and a lot of viewers on my channel have told me to try to pick up a bottle, but it's a German exclusive ink. So my wife was able to get me a bottle for Christmas, and I, I love it. This is Diamond Skull and Roses, and this is gorgeous. Um, Again, this there will be a review coming very soon, but you can see it's kind of a it's like a dark blue ink um, You can see a little bit better there, but or maybe not dark blue, but a, but a very vibrant blue um, Ink, but it has some very very intense red she, uh, red sheening not shading. I apologize it Does have a little bit of blue shading, but that red sheening really 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 pops I really like this ink a lot and um, the shade of blue normally doesn't appeal to me But for some reason this just this just does it for me this is a great, great ink. Again, it's German ink. It's exclusive to Germany. Um, but if you can get a, a bottle of this, I, I recommend it. Even the bottle is really cool with the blue and red skull and roses. With the bottle box, rather. Really impressed with this ink, though. I love dye mine inks, and this one's probably my one of my favorite dye mine inks ever. Um, next up, uh, I don't think a lot of people really liked this ink. Um, which is a shame, because it's, it's an amazing, amazing ink. And it's exclusive, um, or limited edition, not exclusive, rather. This is the Lamy Vibrant Pink. So this ink is, it's a fairly simple pink, but it has a lot of really good shading to it. I mean, you can get some golds and browns, a lot of different colors and tones out of this. And it's, I, I like it a lot. This is one of my favorite pinks that I've acquired this year, and I've gotten probably four or five of them. Um, this is an ink I find myself coming back to a lot. It's just a really, really pretty color. Um, I think they did great with this. The pens this year, where they weren't amazing, but these these inks, they're just they're great. Or this ink, they didn't do one for the black. Next up um, is actually an Orochizuku ink. I had two, I think, last year. Picked up several more this year, and I really really like all of them. Um, picked up Kosumosu, that one's really good. Momiji, gorgeous gorgeous ink. But this one's the one I found myself coming back to consistently, and I really like turquoise inks. So this one's Pilot Orochizuku Amaero. Um, this is just a really, really nice turquoise ink. It's leaning a lot more blue than green, um, but it does have some very, very good shading. It's just a really, really pretty color. Um, I really, really like this color. It's a lighter blue. It pops a lot, and I find myself using this a ton, especially for new pens, because I know it performs very reliably, um, has a very good flow, and the color is just great with almost anything you put it with this 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 ink is a great job on to the number one spot um this is an ink that i had wanted to pick up for a while i managed to get it and it's it's amazing this is dye mine autumn oak now a lot of people weren't super happy with me not liking noodlers uh, apache sunset that's because i apache sunset is garbage compared to this um, at least the bottle I have. Not 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 all of them, because the Noodlers has batch variations. But this is what I wish Apache Sunset would have been. It's a very nice kind of orangey-brown color. And the shading on this is ridiculous. You can get light yellows, deep burnt oranges, browns, 
this the variation is is astounding to me and i i really really like this ink let me go ahead and lay these all out here for you so number one die mine autumn oak number two is pilot iro shizuku ama iro number three is lami vibrant pink highly recommend picking up a bottle of that they're going to be gone soon Number four is Diamine Skull and Roses. And number five is Ackermann SBRE Brown. These are all really, really, really nice inks. I find myself using these all quite a bit. And I highly recommend all of these. They all perform very, very well if you like wetter inks. They all have really good shading and really good base colors that really, really help these pop. Especially when you're, you know, writing with a bunch of different inks. Most of these will stand out very, very well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful 28 or have had a wonderful 2018. Hope you all have a great 2019. If you have any questions about any of these inks or anything else, um, just let me know. And don't forget to check out my top five pens and my top five knives of this year as well. Thanks, guys. Bye.